desk. Could you tell me if Mr. Darren Stevens has checked in yet? He has. Ah, what room is he in? He's in 909. Would you like me to ring him? Oh, no. No, don't bother. Oh, Mr. Larry Tate will be arriving very soon. I'm sure you'll make him comfortable. <laughs> Betty, can I have a room for the night? Yes, sir, Mr. Tate, room 909. I'll ring for a bellboy. Don't bother. I might ask you the same question. It's none of your business. Obviously, they got our rooms mixed up. I'll get another one. Don't tell me you had a fight with Louise. That's my business. I suppose you had a fight with Samantha. That's my business. What's the matter with you, Larry? How could you walk out on a great girl like Louise? And how could you run out on a marvelous girl like Samantha? I thought you didn't like Samantha. I thought you didn't like Louise. What gave you that idea? Your big mouth. I only said those things in anger. You should have known that. So did I. And if you weren't so thick-headed, you'd know I'm crazy about Sam. Larry, we're a couple of numbskulls. You said it. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we can enjoy our newfound bachelorhood together. Right. Ah, freedom. It's wonderful. It's marvelous. Do anything we want. No one to answer to. Play poker. Go bowling. Golf every weekend. More time at the club. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I hate poker and bowling. Golf gives me the hives. This place is depressing. Darren? Yeah? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Last one pack pays for the room. <laughs>